Hello everyone, well today I'm going to be having a look at this washing machine. Now it's not my washing machine, this is the machine provided in the holiday home that we're renting at the moment in Wales. It's a Beko, I don't know the model number at the moment but I'll soon find out when I open the door to reveal the rating plate. So this is Beko model WX842430W, it's made in Turkey and it has an 8 kilogram maximum wash load. I'll just give you a tour of the machine before I put a wash load in it. So here's the detergent dispenser. It has three compartments. This one is for your main wash powder or liquid detergent. This one is for your pre-wash and the one in the middle is for fabric conditioner. This model also comes with this liquid detergent insert that fits into the section where you'd put the main wash detergent. So it goes in with this little hook towards the back and you just slot it in there. So you use that when you're going to dispense liquid detergent. Otherwise, if you put liquid detergent in the machine before you start the wash, it's basically just going to run down into the machine and be wasted. So with liquid detergent, always include this little drawer. So I'm going to be using, I think, powder detergent for this demo, so I don't need that. Here's the main control dial with all the various main programs on this washing machine. So first of all, we've got a cotton wash, then a cotton eco, anti-allergy, a daily quick, a super short, which uh, takes 14 minutes, a Hygiene 20, now that's designed to wash at 20 degrees but for longer and it's supposed to help sanitise but it's obviously at a lower temperature. Then we have Gentle Care also at 20 degrees and at the bottom we can have a separate spin and drain or a separate rinse. We've got a hand wash programme at 20 degrees, a gentle woolen wash programme a dark care program that's for your dark items like jeans and dark clothes to help prevent the colour from bleeding. A program specifically for shirts. Mixed fabrics is for washing cottons and synthetics together. And then finally a dedicated synthetic program. Here's the control panel showing you the time remaining and the various functions you've selected. So. When you turn the dial, we can see that the time remaining changes. So the longest program on this seems to be the cottons, which in most washing machines, the cottons program seems to last the longest. But it's two hours 22. Although there is a longer program, the cottons eco, which goes on for three hours 13. And then anti-allergy, three hours 16. The daily quick, 28 minutes. Of course, the uh, super short, 14. The hygiene, is a three hours 16, gentle care is one hour 14, then we've got the spin at 12 minutes, rinse at 19, hand wash at 44 minutes, woolens at 59 minutes, dark care at one hour 39, shirts at one hour 51, mixed fabrics at one hour 50, and then synthetics also at one hour 50 minutes. As with many automatic washing machines, you do have some control over the spin speed and temperature, but it won't allow you to select a higher spin or a higher temperature than the program allows. So for example, it's set to synthetics at the moment, which will do a 40 degree wash. So if I want to change the temperature, I can. I can change it to 30 or I can change it to cold, but it will not allow me to go above what you're supposed to wash, but I can actually do 60 degree, but the default is 40. So if I want to do a 60 degree synthetics, it is possible on this Beko. If I was to turn the main dial to cottons, I think we'll find that we can go up to 90 if I cycle through. Yes, on the cottons program, you can do a 90 degree wash with a maximum spin speed of 1400. If I go back to synthetics, We'll see what the maximum spin is allowable. It could be 800. So you can go through the spin button, and as you can see, it cycles from 800, 600. Rinse and hold, or no spin, but it will not allow me to spin at 1400 when selected on the synthetic program. 
course there's nothing to stop us doing a separate spin so if I turn the dial to spin and drain you can do a separate 1400 spin if you want to for very heavily soiled laundry you can select a pre-wash on most programs but it won't allow you to pre-wash every single program it allows it on cottons when you turn to cottons eco you can not have a pre-wash because it's flashing anti-allergy a pre-wash is allowed daily quick obviously no pre-wash because it flashes and again super short you won't be allowed a pre-wash so on selected programs I'll turn it back to synthetics you can have a pre-wash and obviously when you press the pre-wash button the time goes up accordingly the next button on the panel is the quicker wash option a lot of people have commented on my other videos saying that the washers take far too long so on this one on the cottons 2 hours 22 isn't bad I've seen far longer programs than that but if you don't want to wait for 2 hours 22 minutes you can press the quicker wash option and that reduces the cottons program to 1 hour 29 it also in many cases reduces the number of rinses so if you're allergic if you've got skin issues and you want extra rinses you don't want to be selecting quicker wash on to extra rinses you can select an extra rinse via this button here and it will do another additional rinse in addition to the rinses it does in the main wash and finally once the program and any options have been selected you press the start pause button to start the machine going and to pause it during the wash when the machine's operating you'll see an indicator here to tell you the stage it's reached so at the moment it's ready to be started I just need to press the start button then it'll move on to wash and obviously when it starts the rinsing the light next to rinse will illuminate and then spinning and of course when it finishes the end light will flash like that and finally the last thing to show you before I start the machine going is the time delay function there's a button here located next to the time control so you can delay the start of the washer up to 19 hours so basically we press this button here and we can delay the start keep pressing it so for example if I want the machine to start in 9 hours time I'd select 9 and then press the start button and in 9 hours time the machine will start the selected program ok so I'm ready to start a wash load so first of all I'm going to put some powder in the main wash compartment I'm just going to do a main wash I'm not going to pre-wash so that should be enough I'm not doing a big load and then a little bit of fabric softener in the middle compartment here okay so we're now ready to load the laundry the door opens fully giving you excellent access into the eight kilogram drum so this is just going to be a small load of mixed items and cottons and synthetics polo shirts, underwear, some pyjama bottoms and some walking shorts etc so nothing dirty they just really need to freshen up there we go so that's everything loosely packed in the drum then we can close the door fully because this is a small wash load and they're not very dirty I'm going to select daily quick which will take 28 minutes but I'm going to add an extra rinse to that which adds another four minutes to the program so this load should be finished in 32 minutes now 32 minutes is the default option with an extra rinse but you do have the facility of increasing or decreasing the wash temperature on the daily quick program I can go to cold water only which will take 30 minutes but on the daily quick you can even go up to 90 degrees which will take 1 hour 33 with an extra rinse I can do a 60 degree which is just over an hour or I'm going to do a 40 degree so that's still going to take nearly an hour with an extra rinse but I do want to wash at 40 for these items I think they need a 40 degree wash rather than a 30 so I'm prepared to wait a bit longer so daily quick at 40 degrees with an extra rinse will take 55 minutes in this Beko
Okay, so that's the wash load finished. Let's take it out. This is synthetic, so it's it's virtually dry. I won't show these underpants too clearly. They're not mine. Here's some cotton lounge trousers, lounge pants. Pretty dry, not too bad. Cotton t-shirt again just damp not too bad creasing either I mean it is a small load though if I was to jam this with a big load we might have had more creases but yeah on the whole pretty good job some more nylon type walking shorts obviously they feel pretty dry anyway and another nylon or polyester walking top and a small pants and socks and things so yeah on the whole let's just take everything out it seems pretty good obviously it's not my machine just showing you how to use it so just uh, get rid of this washing into the tumble dryer above the washer i'll do a video on that separately if you want to see the tumble dryer it's a hoover tumble dryer if you're interested so there we go that's everything out of the machine it's not too bad. What do you think? Have you got a Becco? Do you hate Becco? Becco are a budget brand and I've used other budget brand washing machines mostly in holiday cottages. They tend to be indesits and I've not been very impressed with those. But I think if I was in the market for something fairly cheap, I don't know where this sits in the range. I expect they do more expensive ones. I expect they do cheaper ones. But you know it seems to have done a good job I do like the fact that I can do the daily quick on 90 if I wanted to obviously it's not going to be as quick as the uh, 30 degree wash but it seems to have 
the programs that most people would need. It uh, has a fast 1400 spin. And obviously you can, if you want to get things drier and, you, and the fabric will allow you to spin faster, just select spin and drain and select 1400 and spin the items again if you want to extract just that little bit more water out of them. So that's it. That's a little bit of a demo on this Beko automatic washing machine. Please comment below if you have any comments or questions about this. Obviously I won't be able to answer many of your questions because by the time you see this video I'll be back home and using my AEG washing machine. But it's interesting to use a different washer from time to time. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.